how to use Google Forms is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. In this Google Forms tutorial, I'm covering the four steps from creating it to then be able to go and analyze all the responses and everything in between. Make sure you watch this video right until the end. And then without further ado, let's go and get into this guide. So I'm now on Google Forms and let's go and continue with this video. So this guide should also work on other devices as well, but you'll need to come to the Google Forms site. Now to get here, all I did was come to Google and simply go and search for Google Forms. Just like so, I'm going to press enter and then you can come to Google Forms and you'll be on this site here. Then all you want to do is come to the personal box and then go and click go to Google Forms. It says collect and organize information with big and small with Google Forms. And it is also free, which is really cool as well. So let's go and click go to Google Forms. So here we are and we've got a few different options. As you can see at the top, we've got start a new form and recent forms. So any form you've previously created are going to be listed here. And under start a new form, we've got blank, contact information, RSVP, policy invite, and basically just some templates. Personally, in this guide, I'll be going over a blank template um, just so I can show you guys sort of the main steps. But honestly, these are really useful as well um, if it fits for what you want. So all you want to do is go and click on this plus, which is blank, and then it's gonna go and create a brand new form. So I'm gonna go and click off this as I'm showing you guys, of course. And let's go and get into this. So the first thing you want to do is go and name your form. So I'm gonna name this uh, tutorial example. And then you can go and add a form description as well if you like and explain what your form is for. So I now have a title and a description and let's go and continue with this. So let's go and get into the first question. So what you want to do is go and click on it as Google already pre-make one question for you. So let's go and name this question. So you can come over here and do the question here and then over to the right, you can go and change this from multiple choice to so many different options. We've got short answer, paragraph, check boxes, drop down, file uploads, and we've got a few others along here as well of date and time. So this honestly has so much flexibility. So I'm gonna start off with a multiple cho choice one. So now you want to go and type in your question. So I'm gonna do something like, do you like YouTube like so? And then you can go and add our options. So you want to go and simply go and click on option one and you can click once and you can then go delete this. And then I'm gonna go and put in yes. And then for adding another option, you just click down here and it's gonna go and add in a new text box and you can go and put in no. And then that's literally, you can click off it um, and you can go and choose if you'd like to, this to be a required question. So therefore someone has to answer it um, for them to go and complete the form. So I'm gonna turn that on and you can also go and copy it um, or duplicate and you can delete it. And if you click on these three dots, you've got a few options here as well. So now to go and create another question, you want to come to the right on this bar and you wanna simply go and click on this plus button and it adds a whole new question as you can see. And then let's go and put another question in. So for this one, I'm gonna go and do a different type of question. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go and do a short answer. So I could say, um, you know, what type of content do you watch on YouTube? And changing the answering method is really key for the question because a multiple choice may not work well for this simply because there are too many different genres on YouTube which you may go and watch. So once again, I'm gonna go and make this a required question like so, and then we're gonna go and look at these other tools as well. So you can go and import a question as well. So if you've got like a list of questions, you can go and import them. Then here we've got adding title or descriptions. It's not really necessary for this, but you can do that. Then you can go and add an image, you can add a video, and you can also add section. So if you've got different sections, click here, and then it's gonna go and have sections. So for example, if we've got like a YouTube section here, we can now go and have an Instagram section or you know something else. So I'm gonna do that as just a quick example. So I might do um, Instagram section like so, and say all about Instagram. And then you can go and have more questions in here. So then I'll go and click the plus button and then we can go and have some questions saying like, do you like Instagram? So now I'm quite happy with these questions and I feel like we've sort of gone over the main things you need to go and know for going and creating the questions and those type of things. But now we need to go and share this and be able to sort of go and deal with any responses and be able to go and sort of analyze the data. So now I feel like we've gone and covered setting up the questions and now we can go and customize this a bit more and start sending it out. So you can go and change the colors by clicking on here and you can go and change any sort of theme color. So I could go and do this to like a light blue, which looks quite nice. Um, and you can also go and change the background color as well. And you can go and change the font style. And then we can go and click off this and we can go and preview it. So click here, it's gonna open up in a new tab and then we can go and look at this. So here are the first few questions and then you can go and click next to get to the next section. So I have to do a quick um, 
answer it like so. Then we can go and look at the next section um, and then you can go and clear the form and that's literally it. So we can go off this preview. So now you've previewed it, now let's go and check out some of these settings. So you wanna go and click on the settings cog up here and then as you can see here, so you can go and collect emails, so they'll have to enter their email, so you can go and contact them if you need to. Um, you can also go and have limit to one response, but that means you have to sign into a Google account, uh, which everyone may not have. And then you can also have these options here, so edit after submitting and see summary charts and text responses, um, but you may want to keep that personal. And then we've got presentation, so you can go and go through these as well and then quizzes as well. So yeah, you can go and make this a quiz and have sort of auto grading and stuff. But personally, I wanna keep it simple and leave it like this. And just before we go and send it out, I recommend just naming this. So I could go and name this anything I want. So I'm just gonna name this tutorial because this is what it is, but you may wanna name it what it's for. Then to go and send it out, what you want to do is go and get click send. And what this is gonna do is gonna go and generate a link as well. So if I go and click here on this sort of paperclip icon, it then goes and gives you a link. You can shorten it as well, which is really useful. And you can right click and copy it, of course. Um, and then you can go and send it out. So go and click copy as well there. And that's literally it, guys. So I've done a few example responses myself. And then you wanna come back to your form and you can go and click on responses. And then it's gonna go and break everything down for you, which I think is really, really useful as it literally puts it into pie charts. It goes, it puts it into bar charts and you can also get pie charts as well. And you can also change how this looks as well. So you can go and break down the question. Um, you can go to the individual ones as well and you can look at summaries. And one of my favorite parts about this is you can go and export it into spreadsheets. So to do that, you simply wanna go and click here and it says create a spreadsheet. And as you can see, you can go and create a new spreadsheet for your answer. So click create, and then it's gonna go and link it to a spreadsheet. Here we go, and it literally is gonna go and record all of the questions and the answers, and you can go and then go and create loads more um, charts within Google Sheets, which is really useful. And you can also go and close it if you're no longer accepting responses because you've got enough. And before I round this video, Video off I just want to say if you guys want to go and see any more tutorials on Google softwares like Google uh, Sheets and Google Docs please go and let me know in the comments because I really like to bring them to you and in general if you've got any other sort of tutorials you'd like to see please do tell me below as well um, simply because I want to make content which you guys do find useful yourself um, and I want it to be able to help you guys out basically um, as I've got you know I've got a few um, more tutorials coming based on this and also a few more sort of gaming based ones like Roblox Minecraft but primarily um, software as well, software for Mac, for Windows, and hopefully we've got a Windows 11 guide coming out very soon, as of course um, that's about to be released, which is super exciting. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything, guys. So please go and hit the subscribe button. Once again, a huge thank you for 100,000 subscribers. I hit that around a month ago now, and honestly, that's crazy. It was a huge goal for a long time, and I appreciate it a lot. As well as that, please go and leave a like as well. It helps get this video to more people. Leave a comment, like I said earlier, and that's pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very, very awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.